Hey guys, quick video today. Uh, I got my parts. Not all of them. I just thought they'd run down to sale and pick up some of the ferrite uh, beads so that I can do a little bit better noise isolation here. But uh, here's the uh, new boards. You can see what they are. Uh, they uh, don't come with the uh, terminal blocks, but uh, they're available from the guy I bought the boards from. These are the new boards. They're about 23 bucks a piece and they're capable of up to 2 amps per phase uh, and uh, as compared to the old ones which were 750 milliamps so a little more than a little more? A little less than uh, 3 times the power uh, capable there's the new motors as, and that's the uh, the first batch uh, in comparison these were 24 bucks a piece these motors, I'm just looking at the, yeah, 24 bucks a piece uh, four times the volume <laughs> of these ones, more than four times the volume of these ones, uh, if that means anything. It does. They are higher torque, but I, I have no idea the specs of these ones because I just bought these surplus for five bucks a piece. These little ones. They'll still be good for something small. Um, I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a whole new case. Uh, this time, uh, one with uh, a shielded metal case, uh, so that it's a little bit better uh, insulated. So it's going to take me a little while to get that thing back up and running, but uh, I'm going to be a little bit more cautious. I think because I rushed it is why I ended up uh, blowing out the drivers, because I didn't really properly study uh, the situation. But such as it is, it's all learning experience. I'm going to save the old unit, or the smaller unit, lighter duty unit, whatever you want to call it, for uh, more like a small engraver project. And, uh, and do the same thing. Uh, anyways, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching.